Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic here with another plan with me. So this is my spread from last week. I was really proud of this spread because I I got a super mini kit from River Street Stickers. It only had two sheets and I was able to just kind of pull things from my stash and use washi to create a spread that I was proud of and one that made me happy. I really like that because it goes to show that you really don't have to spend a ton of money on kits and things like that. And I didn't always feel that way. I didn't always feel that I was creative enough to do it without like a lot of help. So love this, oops, forgot to check this off. Love this spread from River Street Stickers. So moving on to this week, I am doing something I don't normally do. And that is I'm using another kit from River Street Stickers. It just really fits this week. This is the week of September 2nd through September 8th. I'm using this kit called Home. Um, and I, it just really called to me and I debated not using it because I used a River Street Stickers kit last week, but I ultimately, I just really wanna use it. Um, I picked up a, an extra sheet for this one. I bought them all individually. Um, and this one I have three sheets instead of two. So I have the full boxes with the Monday through Sunday tracker. I've got quarter boxes, half boxes, and we've got the bottom washi, the date covers, and the weekend banner this time. I'm still pulling in some washi. Um, I'm using this washi from the Planner Society and this washi from the Pink Room Co. So I'm pulling in some washi to just kind of fill in um, where washi strips in a kit would be. And that's it. So if you're interested in watching this plan with me, stay tuned and let's get started. So you guys get a treat because you get to skip the entire intro this time. So the date covers, bottom washi, uh, page flags, which I just cut down some washi. I didn't record it, so there you go. A little bit about my planning style. I call this planner my reflection planner. So everything that goes in it has already happened. I don't call it a memory planner because I really do try to use it to reflect on some certain things that are important in my life and my goals and keep track. And especially it tells me as when I'm not getting sleep and I'm sleeping late. That's a big indicator for me personally. So that's why I call it a reflection planner instead of a memory planner. I... Uh, zoom in to get started. I put in the uh, full box in the quote box and then I put washi across um, all the way through the weekend to kind of function as headers um, because I enjoy how that looks. After I do that, I finish off the rest of my sidebar. I move to Putting, cutting down some other washi. Um, this washi combination this week was so perfect in my opinion. Um, it, it, I just really like how it went and I was really excited to use some of my favorite washi. By favorite I mean um, not these rolls exactly but this like cabin theme. I, I think it was the first um, washi bundle I got from the Pink Room Co. and it was like Cabin or Sable or something and then she keeps coming out with like newer versions and it's like my favorite combination washi. So anytime I find a, a reason to use any of them I get really excited just because I love the combinations very very much. Um, which I think it's kind of weird actually. Well, anyways, I put down the Monday through Sunday trackers so I can track my grateful thoughts. I put down the workout and read sticker, very similar to last week. Uh, those stickers are from Addie Bell & Co. I have a discount for you to get 15% off. You can just use my name, Alexis, um, and in her, in her shop and get 15% off. And um, I then put down washi at the bottom and put down a crooked quarter box so I could keep track of what I was reading this week. This week I was reading Fantasy and Death by J.D. Robb and um, not my favorite in the In Death series. Actually, I think it just kind of um, went over my head. It was just so futuristic and yeah, it, it was just a little much, but I'm glad that she wrote it and did something different. Um, because when you have a series that's this long running, it's easier to be, it's really easy to be repetitive. Um, that sleeping, sleeping sticker is from, um, 
it was toffee bananas but now it's paper shire i think you could still buy that one i just noted that i ran h heb and then also um played some harry potter i cut down some washing um to create a separation um and then put down a full box and used a uh, movie marquee to note that we kind of had a family night and we watched some movies um we watched the lion king which uh, we watched the cartoon disney version not the newest version and jacob always calls it the lion guard and it drives me crazy because he only knows the lion guard you know the lion guard is like the disney spin-off series with the with everybody's kids you know and we know the lion king and mufasa and uh when he goes to the lion guard my heart breaks just a little bit every time i did some billing i went back and watched criminal minds um and then i went to bed late probably because i was working on billing um i then moved to Tuesday. I put down that uh, pillow sticker to note that I was too awake, which means I probably woke up early and couldn't go back to sleep. Um, that uh, put down a Grin and Barrett sticker to note that I did Jacob's routine and drop off. And I know this gets repetitive if you're watching, but for me, it's important for me to track when I'm doing Jacob's routine and drop off. So I will continue to do so. I cut down some washi and then um, put down a heart checkbox from my stash. I can tell by looking at it, it's from the Piper Paper Company. And then that work sticker, um, the foil work sticker is from Sweet Bean Plants. I put a few little coffee stickers, the little, the coffee bean stickers is from the Stick With Me shop. And then I jotted down a few things that I did that day. Um, I had quite a few visits to get done. Um, just, I, you know, it says visits and I, I always assume people know, but I'm an attorney and I often represent children. So if I represent children, I visit them. I don't make them come to my office. Um, so if that's not clear, that's what that's about. I did a workout. Um, that sticker is from Love Shira and she's no longer open. And then I worked with Jacob on his homework and afterwards we had some cuddles and that sticker is from the Style Planner. I put down an a quarter box appointment label and put down a pizza uh, emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to note that we went to main event and had pizza. It was an event with my church. Um, I was miserable the whole time and didn't stay very long because still battling the ear infection from hell. So on Wednesday, super, super cranky at this point. Um, I am not a pleasure to be around in any way shape or form because I still still two weeks later am battling an air infection so I did Jacob's routine and drop off I'm on Wednesday and not wanting to write on the coil so I'm writing directly on the sticker sheet and just wrote down a few things that I needed to get done I uh, answered some emails did some visits um I registered Jacob for some more testing um, for speech. We're trying to get him some additional days of speech therapy. And I also uh, picked up Jacob from school. Um, then I cut down some washi strips in a couple layers. And um, uh, because I don't have any washi in this kit, which honestly, if you saw my washi collection, you'd probably say I don't need any washi in any kits, but that's neither here nor there, and it's not important. <laughs> the speech therapy stickers from Love Shira, and um, her shop is no longer open. Um, I think that paid tuition sticker is from the Style Planner, um, and I needed to remember to do that. Um, on Thursday, I put down the, uh, the mom and kid sticker from Grin and Barrett, and, um, then I moved and put a half box to note that, um, I needed to do some fantasy planning, so... I do, I like work really hard on fantasy. I have two teams this year and I started off really strong in one and kind of weak in the other. 
And since I started playing fantasy a few years ago, my brother and I have always been just kind of like reading every article, looking at every stat and just, I mean, treating it very seriously. So we always meet every week and at this point, it's just kind of part of football season. Um, I'm not a big, like, um... NFL football fan. I don't have a team. I just watch the games that I have players in. So I have no loyalty whatsoever. I had some visits to do. I took a nap, which is rare these days, and then had some me time in the afternoon. And that full box for that on the bottom of Thursday was perfect. I moved to Friday. Again, noting that I'm doing Jacob's routine and drop off, and I needed to do some trial prep. Um, so I put down the full box, um, because I knew that's where I wanted it. That sticker is from Let's Plan It. I don't, she doesn't carry it anymore, but that's where I got it from. And I needed to work on some trial prep. Um, I put down, I cut down some washi and then I put down the kind of the glitter, what I call as a check box. So I'm sure you can use it however you want. It's, I think, perfect for lists. Um, but I needed to go to Barton, Barton Creek Mall. I needed to meal plan and, and that was weird. And I, um, went to a football game with my husband for his high school. Then I had some friends in town. So the Henrys came in town and one of my friends from law school. And so I used that gal, um, fun sticker from Let's Plan It, and I rarely get to use those stickers because I don't get to hang out with my girlfriends that often. Um, most of my really, really good friends do not live in town. I put down a quarter box, and I put down the Odd Loop Girl in a teacup, and, um, noted that, um, I drank coffee and and just kind of chatted with my friend. Um, this was a community day for Harry Potter, so I kind of participated in that. Put down a full box and then a half, a half box to note that we did some tailgating. Um, on the way back from tailgating, it is so hot and uncomfortable. But I had to take Jacob by the turtle pond and show him my old dorm um, on campus. Then we went home to watch the UT versus LSU game, which... We lost, and my good friend that was staying with us um, went to school, went to undergrad for LSU, so she had a great time, <laughs> and it was tense. Not bad tense, but like, you know, sore loser tense, I guess. I'm moving to Sunday. I was the service producer, so I just kind of put that bubble there and know that I was the service producer, and I was always on Sundays. It is nap time. A family that naps together stays together. Um, I put down the Gangsta Napper sticker from um, Bubba Bear Studios. And then I woke up in a pool of pee. This is why you do not let your kid sleep in the bed with you because you might get peed on. Nobody wants to get peed on. Followed up with a full box and that that list box to just note that I had the three things that I always have to do on Sunday, aside from now. Um, grocery shopping, meal prep, and plan my week. And that's it. Um, that's the full spread. I loved it. I hope you did too. Um, and I hope it inspired you in some way, um, like it did me using fewer sticker sheets. So thanks, and see you next week. Bye.